metric of a Euclidean space in spherical coordinates. The metric in Euclidean space is given by ds square equal to dx square plus dy square plus dz square. Let x upper suffix 1 equal to x, x upper suffix 2 equal to y, x upper suffix 3 equal to z. Then the metric 1 takes the form ds square equal to dx1 whole square plus dx2 whole square plus dx3 whole square. The spherical coordinates are given by x equal to r sin theta cos phi, y equal to r sin theta sin phi, and z equal to r cos theta. Let x prime 1 equal to r, x prime 2 equal to theta, and x prime 3 equal to phi. Comparing metric 2 with the metric ds square equal to zij dxi dxj where i and j varies from 1 to 3. Now ds square equal to z11 dx1 dx1 plus z12 dx1 dx2 plus z13 dx1 dx3 plus z21 dx2 dx1 plus z22 dx2 dx2 plus g23 dx2 dx3 plus g31 dx3 dx1 plus g32 dx3 dx2 plus g33 dx3 dx3 we get z11 z22 and z33 equal to 1 and all other terms that is z12 then z21 z23 z32 z13 and z31 equal to 0 now z prime 1 1 equal to z alpha beta into del x alpha by del x prime 1 into del x beta by del x prime 1 where alpha and beta goes from 1 to 3 which is equal to z11 del x1 by del x prime 1 into del x1 by del x prime 1 plus z22 del x2 divided by del x prime 1 into del x2 divided by del x prime 1 plus the last term is given by z33 into del x3 by del x prime 1 into del x3 by del x prime 1 which implies z prime 1 1 equal to 1 into del x by del r into del x by del r plus the second term is 1 into del y by del r into del y by del r and the third term is 1 into del z by del r into del z by del r which is equal to del x by del r whole square plus del y by del r whole square plus del z by del r whole square and we have x equal to r sin theta cos phi y equal to r sin theta sin phi and z equal to r cos theta. So the first term will be sin theta cos phi whole square plus the second term will be sin theta sin phi whole square plus the third term will be cos theta whole square. From the first two terms we can take sin square theta common then you will get cos square phi plus sin square phi and the last term is given by cos square theta. So cos square phi plus sin square phi will give you 1 and again sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So ultimately z prime 1 1 equal to 1. Now z prime 2 2 is equal to z alpha beta into del x alpha by del x prime 2 into del x beta by del x prime 2 where alpha and beta varies from 1 to 3. Now z11 into del x1 divided by del x prime 2 into del x1 by del x prime 2 plus z22 into del x2 by del x prime 2 into del x2 by del x prime 2 and the third term is given by z33 into del x3 divided by del x prime 2 into del x3 divided by del x prime 2. 
which is equal to 1 into del x by del theta into del x by del theta plus 1 into del y by del theta into del y by del theta and the last term is 1 into del z by del theta into del z by del theta. So you will get del x by del theta whole square plus del y by del theta whole square plus del z by del theta whole square. Again we have the relations x equal to r sin theta cos phi y equal to r sin theta sin phi and z equal to r cos theta. So from the first term we will get r cos theta cos phi whole square plus the second term will be r cos theta sin phi whole square plus the third term will be minus r sin theta whole square. So which is equal to r square cos square theta all into cos square phi plus sin square phi because we can take r square cos square theta from the first two terms and the last term is given by r square sin square theta. Again cos square phi plus sin square phi is equal to 1 and cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. So the value of z prime 2 2 will be equal to r square. Now for z prime 3 3 it is given by z alpha beta into del x alpha by del x prime 3 into del x beta by del x prime 3 where alpha and beta varies from 1 2 and 3 which is equal to z 1 1 into del x 1 by del x prime 3 into del x 1 by del x prime 3 plus z 2 2 into del x 2 by del x prime 3 into del x 2 by del x prime 3 plus z 3 3 into del x 3 by del x prime 3 into del x 3 by del x prime 3 which is equal to 1 into del x by del phi into del x by del phi plus 1 into del y by del phi into del y by del phi and plus 1 into del z by del phi into del z by del phi which is equal to del x by del phi whole square plus del y by del phi whole square plus del z by del phi whole square and x equal to r sin theta cos phi y equal to r sin theta sin phi and z equal to r cos theta. So the first term will give you minus r sin theta sin phi whole square plus the second term is r sin theta cos phi whole square and the third term will be 0 because it does not contain phi and we are differentiating z partially with respect to phi. Now from the first two terms we can take r square sin square theta common and you will get sin square phi plus cos square phi and which is equal to 1. So the value of z prime 3 3 is r square sin square theta. Now z prime 1 2 is equal to z alpha beta into del x alpha by del x prime 1 into del x beta by del x prime 2 where alpha and beta goes from 1 to 3. Now which is equal to z 1 1 into del x 1 by del x prime 1 into del x 1 by del x prime 2 plus z 2 2 into del x 2 by del x prime 1 into del x 2 by del x prime 2 plus z 3 3 into del x 3 by del x prime 1 into del x 3 by del x prime 2 which is equal to 1 into del x by del r into del x by del theta plus 1 into del y by del r into del y by del theta plus 1 into del z by del r into del z by del theta which will give you sin theta cos phi all into r cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi all into r cos theta sin phi and the last term will give you cos theta into minus r sin theta. Now after simplification all the terms will get cancelled and we will get 0. Similarly we can find z prime 2 3 and z prime 3 1 and both the values will be 0. Now z i j is a symmetric tensor so z prime 1 2 will be equal to z prime 2 1 and z prime 2 3 will be equal to z prime 3 2 and z prime 3 1 will be equal to z prime 1 3. The metric in spherical coordinate is given by ds square equal to z prime ij into dx prime i into dx prime j where i and j varies from 1 to 3. Now ds square will be equal to z prime 1 1 into dx prime 1 into dx prime 1 plus z prime 1 2 into dx prime 1 into dx prime 2 plus z prime 1 3 into dx prime 1 into dx prime 3 plus z prime 2 1 into dx prime 2 into dx prime 1 plus z prime 2 2 into dx prime 2 into dx prime 2 plus z prime 2 3 into dx prime 2 into dx prime 3 plus z prime 3 1 into dx prime 3 into dx prime 1 
plus z prime 3 2 into dx prime 3 into dx prime 2 plus z prime 3 3 into dx prime 3 into dx prime 3. So which is equal to z prime 1 1 into dx prime 1 into dx prime 1 plus z prime 2 2 into dx prime 2 into dx prime 2 plus z prime 3 3 into dx prime 3 into dx prime 3. Because all other terms which contains z prime 1 2, z prime 2 1, z prime 2 3, z prime 3 2 and z prime 3 1 and z prime 1 3 all will be 0. So which is equal to z prime 1 1 into dx prime 1 whole square plus z prime 2 2 into dx prime 2 whole square plus z prime 3 3 into dx prime 3 whole square. So which is equal to 1 into dr whole square plus r square into d theta whole square plus r square sin square theta into d phi whole square. So which is equal to dr square plus r square d theta square plus r square sin square theta into d phi square. So which is the metric in the spherical coordinate system.